So it's like I've got bigger problems than the shocks. So I was just playing with this wheel. Thought, hey, that's not supposed to move. Got in here. Well, that ain't good. So today, we're swapping out the shock absorbers. So, um, yeah, backs and fronts, let's get stuck in. So with the passenger side, uh, passenger side rear shock, so you can see I'm up there, 17 mil at the bottom, already taking this nut off. This is 17, I just said that you might need one to hold the back, it's actually got a Got a stopper to stop this nut from moving. So yeah, 117 up there, 117 down here. Always chalk your wheels. Yeah. And you just knock this bolt that's holding the bottom of the rear shock on. Knock that out. Then um, then you pull the shock off up there, and that's the removal of the, I guess what the front diff shock of the rear. There it is. So there's the passenger side rear shock off, top mount, bottom mount. So I'm gonna spray a little bit of grease on the bushings. I'll show that quickly. There's number two. There's number two, about 10 minutes in, piece of piss so far. Let's see what the fronts are like. So, this is the front shock. As I said earlier, pushings, washer, and locking nut. So it looks like I've got bigger problems than the shocks. So this is playing with this wheel. So hey, that's not supposed to move. Got in here. Good. <laughs> Whoops. And that's not all. Look at this. Someone has snapped the top shock mount in the past. Put these massive fucking welds in there. I don't know if you can see that very well, but focus up. Uh, there's no light, hang on. Right there, for a sec. Yeah, so look at this. I snapped, snapped this top mount and re-welded it back on. So um, you can see these are buggered too by the amount of oil that's come down. But yeah, looking at this, I think um, I'm gonna try pull the mount off my other ute as well as the idle steer light, steering idle arm thing I might have to run down and get a ball joint popper so yeah that's not gonna fly alrighty so managed to get the uh, steering idle arm off off of the other ute so yeah and I'm also gonna steal this top shock mount so you can see no dodgy business there, so I'll nick that. Pretty glad I haven't got this scrapped yet. Yeah, so now I've got to pop this ball joint. 
Um, I went and bought a ball joint tool, but it was for the wrong sort of ball joint. I needed like a separator, pitman arm type, tie rod style. So I'll show you a little trick that I used to get these off. So get yourself an extension arm and a decent hammer. What you want to do is see the casting, so you're not hitting the ball joint at all. Go on to here. Just go back a little bit so you can see the whole thing. So, it didn't play nice. So now I'm not playing nice. There it is. So I just had to bash on it. You can see I did damage the steering arm just a bit, but you know, it's not going to change anything. So yeah, just got that super hot and then smacked her off. Now I'll get those two off. So two 14 mils there. There's two little nuts. That hard to see, but down in there. So yeah, you can just see them down there. Oops, sorry, dropped the phone. So yeah, I replace the idle arm, take the shock off, take the uh, mount off the other side for the top shock, and we're away. So insulation's a lot easier. A lot of people use the correct tool to press these on, but you can just get the thread on, on the crown nut, and use the thread as you press and as you can see by the top here it's, it's a bit hard one-handed but as you go down it's actually pressing the taper in so yeah just go that all the way down and then that's done but already you can see it's solid again which is what you want so it turns out that top welded um, now, can't come off, it's welded to the chassis, a couple of spots, way too much effort to pull it off. I mean, those welds are pretty solid, massive welds, let's just hope they're penetrating well. Worst case scenario, if that top mount did smack off, it'd be the same as losing a shock, it wouldn't actually be too bad. Uh, oh, whoops, sorry. So, if you've ever got the problem where you're trying to take off this top mount, but you can't stop this from spinning. On the piston style of the rods, I use vice grips to hold onto the rod, stop it from spinning. If it's got the protective guard, I slam a Phillips head screwdriver through it with a hammer, and then that'll stop it from spinning too. Both great ways. All right, there's a new shock in. New steering idle arm in. So, yeah, that's as good as I can do that. I'm gonna have to leave for now. Yeah, it's coming together. All right, so this side has no nasties by the looks of it. Everything is more or less how it should be. So I'm going to take this shock out and put the new one in. So vice grips on that, on that there, take off that 17 mil nut. Another one down there, looks like He's exactly the same. There it is. So that's job complete. I've also taken this back shroud, shroud off the other ute. As this one's went missing. So it's been replaced. I'll chuck the wheel back on, take her for a drive, see how she goes. So I don't have many speed bumps around, but there's this here, which is a pretty bumpy part of town. Definitely just bought them down on the on the wheels there. Yeah, so new shocks go well. Success.
Thanks heaps for watching guys as always if you like the video give it a like if you don't dislike it any sort of feedback comments I always appreciate it I try to reply to everything and uh, yeah if you like my video subscribe I'm gonna keep uploading oh, that's the wrong gear anyway thanks for watching guys fin dog out